Hi everyone, this is a video to show you um, how to access your work as a student in Google Classroom. Some things in here are not really obvious and I just want to take a moment to point out how you're going to access different types of assignments and how to turn in different types of assignment. Now I know at first glance the first thing that you see here is the stream for the class. I wouldn't start clicking on assignments from here because it can get pretty bogged down pretty quick and hard to navigate. Instead, go into the classwork and you're going to see your assignments posted. And I made several different assignments, different types of assignments to show you how to turn that in. So here is an assignment that has a Google Doc attached. And my advice is every time you click on assignment, don't just start clicking away here. Always click on view assignment. Always click on view assignment. Now you're going to say, well, I see nothing here. So what do I do? I'm going to click turn in. No, stop. Just don't. Look above the turn in button. It looks like someone's already submitted for you, but that's not the case. That's just where the work is located that you need to work on. So you're going to click on the attachment. It's going to open in a separate window for you. And you're going to type in your name or whatever it is that your teacher wants you to type in. Okay. And you're going to notice up here where it says all changes are saved in Drive. Now here's how you turn it in. You have two options. Your first option is to go back to the Google Classroom and click Turn In because you've already made those changes and it's already saved. Okay. Or your other option is in Google Doc. Now this is only for Google Docs. I'll say it again. This is only for Google Docs. Only Google Docs has a, this gray Turn In button. It looks like it's not active, but it is. If I click it, it will give me the choice or it'll give me the, it'll give me the prompt to click on turn in and it verifies that your work is going with it. I'm also going to show you how you can come back to your classroom and just click turn in after you've made the adjustments on your doc. You can just go back to classroom and click turn in and it'll give you the same prompt. You click turn in and then it will verify up here in the top corner. You can probably hear my phone notifications already going off. It comes to us that quick. Now, just because it comes to us quick doesn't always mean that we're going to grade it instantaneously. So please be patient because we have a lot of students that we have to grade for. So then let me go back and I'll show you a different type of assignment. Let's say that your teacher wants you to edit some Google Slides. Again, view assignment. So you can see all the information. Again, it's not where you expect it. It's over here above the turn in button. Don't click turn in yet. You have to click on the attachment. You're going to make your edits. And then notice it says saving. I'll change to save and drive. There's no turn in button for Google Slides. So there's not, don't click, don't click, do not click share. There should be a big stop button or this. Just don't click it. Just, it's always saved. Go back to your class and click Turn In. Only a Google Doc has that Turn In button. Okay, next we have a Google Drawing. In case your teacher wants you to submit something with a Google Drawing. See, it's not there. Well, it's over here above the Turn In button. And you can put on here whatever you need to put on here. I'm just going to choose a random shape and drop it in. You're going to see that it's all changes saved in Drive. Again, there's no turn in button. Don't click on, don't touch it. You're going to come back to your Google Classroom and click Turn In after you've done the work, not before. Click Turn In. And then let's do a Google form that's not a quiz where they just want you to fill out the form to fill out a response. Now this one's going to act a little differently. Notice already how it's located in the area that you would think the others were located in. And go ahead and open the Google form. You're going to fill out the form. Answer your question. Um, for this one, I just give an example in case your teacher asks for you to attach something. You just click on add file. You can choose from your computer by select files from your device. Or if you have it in your drive, you can upload it from your drive. And then you just click on submit. And once it's done running, it'll give you the verification that it went. And you can even just click open assignment. It'll take you back to Google Classroom. And you notice it says no work attached, but look what it says. It says turned in. 
because of how Google Form acts, it automatically collects your responses for you and does that for you. It also automatically marks that as turned in. So don't click the unsubmit button, just click, just, just leave it alone. And that's for any Google Form or a Google Form quiz. And here's what a quiz, a Google Form quiz would look like. It looks just like a Google Form. View assignment, again, it's right here where we'd expect the others to be. You fill out your quiz. And this time I chose an audio recording. Now if I go to my drive, I can choose an audio recording. Or if I want to go to my computer, I choose select from your device and I find it on my computer. I click open and upload. And then once you've done that, you're going to click the submit button just like you did with any Google form. And it's going to take care of turning it in for you. You can also click on the, I'll, I'll click on open assignment just to show you what that looks like. And you'll see it's been turned in for you. Nothing else to do here. And I'm going to show you what a question of the day with a short answer would look like. So instead of typing here in the class comments, you would type your answer over here above the, the gray turn in button. So my favorite ice cream is black raspberry. Ra black raspberry. There, I can spell. And once I submit it, I can change my answer. But you can also see classmate answers. This is just a test class for me, and I'm the only person in this. But you would then be able to see your classmate answers as they answered as well. Private comments are for between you and your teacher. Class comments go between, everyone can see it. And then here's a question of the day if you had to do a multiple choice. View the question. Even though it was right there when it initially opened it, always go all the way into the assignment. What's your favorite class? Well, I'm Mrs. Gilbert and I teach music, so of course my favorite class is music. And for these multiple choice, it's only one answer. So I'm going to turn in music, of course. You can make a comment for the teacher, make a comment to the class that's class appropriate and allowed by your teacher if they allow that. And that's all you have to do to turn in these different types of assignments. Now I do want to point out, like, let's say that um, your Google Doc and they wanted you to, I'm going to click on submit right now. Don't, don't you click click on submit or it's going to cause issues on the teacher end. But if you needed to add some work or add your own file, like a PDF or something, you can add something else on top of it even. And like here's a, I'll choose file and then I would choose from my desktop or I could choose from, um, like let me find like a PDF. Okay. I'll do I'll attach this PDF and I just dragged I grabbed that from my computer or if I wanted to attach um, a sound file I could attach that if I wanted to pull something from my drive I could go to my drive and pull something from there here's a PowerPoint so all these different types of things you can add to it. You can also create a new Google thing. If you needed to create your own document to turn in, you could also just click add or create and choose one of these items to attach to your assignment before you click and complete it and fill it out. So if it was a Google Doc, you click on Google Doc and then open a new window and you would fill out what you have to fill out. Let's say all changes are saved in the drive. Go back to now, now there's a Google Doc, you could turn it in. We could go back to the class and click turn in. And it'll show you how much you're turning in. So there you go. That's how you access the different assignments. That's how you turn in different assignments. Don't just click on turn in and think it's done and then you go back and do it later because it's just going to get kicked back to you by the teacher for not doing any work. You have to do the work in the attachments to turn it in or attach your work separately like I just showed you in this corner here where you would click on add or create 
And if you accidentally add something, you can always X out of it. But if you X out of this document, then it says a file for Chris Gilbert copied for you was removed, but you can make a copy. And then it's going to make a copy for you to resubmit to them. All right. So that's how you turn those files. And I hope that this was helpful to you guys. Take care.